Kamala Tocracy. Presidential candidate Kamala Harris has gotten quite a boost in recent days, just three months before the November 5, 2024 presidential election. TheHill.com Trump has never had to face someone with Kamala Harris's raw talent. Let's take a look at Donald Trump's most recent campaign ad. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. The governor and I, and we were all um, doing a tour of the library here and um, talking about the significance of the passage of time, right? The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time in terms of what we need to do to lay these wires, what we need to do to create these jobs. And there is such great significance to the passage of time when we think about a day in the life of our children. All right, so that's a pretty devastating political ad by Donald Trump. I hope that Kamala Harris can overcome this. Now that's all in good fun, but I wanted to make a comparison between Vice President Joe Biden speaking in 2015 at the Munich Security Conference. Many people won't know this, but as Senator, Joe Biden has often made a point to take a trip and attend the Munich Security Conference. You actually can see in his delivery an agile mind. Thank you very much. I wish I could say those phone calls, I solved all the problems, but, uh, but I didn't. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as the chairman said earlier today, uh, I did stand here six years ago, and uh, in the first uh, major foreign policy address of our administration, I spoke about the reset. Today, I'm here to talk about the need to reassert, not just reset to reassert the fundamental bedrock principle of a Europe whole, free, and free. That's inviolate borders are honored, that there be no spheres of influence, and that the sovereign right of every nation to choose its own alliances. Europe is not just the home of our closest allies. Europe, all of you, are the cornerstone of the United States' engagement in the rest of the world. Let me say that again. Europe is the cornerstone of U.S. engagement around the world. Okay, so that sounds like a pretty solid foreign policy delivery. This is Kamala Harris speaking with the President of Poland back in 2022. Let's see how she handles a fairly ordinary question on the handling of Ukrainian refugees. ...is going to do more specifically to set up a permanent infrastructure, and relatedly, is the United States willing to make a specific allocation for Ukrainian refugees? And for President Duda, I wanted to know if you think, and if you asked the United States to specifically accept more refugees. Okay. <laughs> A friend in need is a friend indeed. <laughs> okay, uh, I can first. Okay. So. Apparently, Kamala Harris, our current vice president and 2024 presidential candidate, did not have any relevant information prepared to her by her aides. Let's see if she has something else to say about Ukraine and its relationship to NATO. Again, from two years ago. So I will say what I know we all say, and I will say over and over again. The United States stands firmly with the Ukrainian people in defense of the NATO alliance. The words that she just said there were quickly walked back by her aides in a new press release after her comments. Why would they need to walk that back? Listen to her again. So I will say what I know we all say, and I will say over and over again. The United States stands firmly with the Ukrainian people in defense of the NATO alliance. Russia, in the person of Vladimir Putin, has been warning NATO since 2007 that any attempt to move former republics of the Soviet Union into the sphere of influence of NATO would be considered an act of war and would invite 
a military response. This stupid woman almost got us into World War III by saying something out of total ignorance. Let's see if she can pull things back. Here Kamala Harris calls a radio station, The Morning Hustle, and attempts to explain to the listeners what the Ukraine war is all about. Any level of news, even social media, you're seeing everything that's going on right now in the Ukraine. Break it down in layman's terms for people who don't understand what's going on and how can this directly affect the people of the United States. So Ukraine is a country in Europe. It exists next to another country called Russia. Russia is a bigger country. Russia is a powerful country. Russia decided to invade a smaller country called Ukraine. So basically that's wrong. You can contrast and compare how one vice president in the Obama-Biden administration had a clear grasp of the geopolitical issues. Vice President Biden clearly knows what he's talking about here. He's informed on the issues. Russia in this community of democratic nations and open societies, or at least establishing, at the very least, constructive relations with Russia. Kamala Harris doesn't even know that her words are considered an act of war by the belligerent Russia. So I will say what I know we all say, and I will say over and over again. The United States stands firmly with the Ukrainian people in defense of the NATO alliance. This stupid woman doesn't have any idea what she's doing, and we're told that she has the same foreign policy and leadership ability as any other Democrat candidate? Why? She's not even as smart as 2015 Joe Biden. And this lady is going to lead the country in 2025? Are you kidding me?